town with a population of about 3.3 million is one of the largest cities in South Africa. Like any other growing city, proper planning is vital to ensure that the needs of all residents are addressed. Water is a vital resource for human life and development, but Cape Town lies in a water-scarce region and it is therefore important to have good water demand management principles in place to ensure a balanced supply and demand for water from homeowners, commerce and industry. One of the ways of managing the demand for water is through ensuring that we reduce water losses, wastage and leakages. A significant number of homes in Cape Town have high water consumption due to leaks and homeowners not understanding how to use water wisely. So water and sewage accounts could therefore be higher than they should be. Some residents cannot afford this and the accounts go into arrears. Supplying water costs money. The council has to maintain and operate the infrastructure to collect, purify and transport the water to its users, the residents. By not paying your water and sewage bill, you are depriving the council of the money it needs which makes it more difficult to deliver and improve services to you. The City of Cape Town is now making it easier for households who are struggling to manage their water and sewage bills by implementing leak repair projects. The aim is to make water and sewage bills more affordable. Assist homeowners in getting their water and sewage arrears written off and reduce wasteful water consumption. This project offers you a once-off opportunity to have all your household leaks repaired for free by the council, to install a water management device for free, and to write off your water and sewage arrears once you manage to stay within your daily limit. These benefits are available free to homeowners who qualify for an indigent grant. Your household income and the municipal value of your property determines whether you qualify. Any other homeowner will have to pay for the installation of the device. How do I apply for an indigent grant? To apply for the grant, you need to bring your ID and latest municipal bill to your local Cape Town City Council office and fill in the application form. Remember, the person whose name appears on the water account is the only one who can apply. How does the indigent grant work? If the application is successful, your household's municipal account is credited with the grant amount. The grant is not paid in cash like an old age pension or child grant. It is paid into your municipal account to assist with the monthly water and sewage bills. How does the water management device work? The water management device is an electronic device which is attached to a meter and can be set to a daily allocation. The water management device is set to a daily allocation only after all household leaks have been repaired. The device is set to provide a predetermined water supply on a daily basis. Currently, the allocation in the majority of households is either 350 or 450 litres per day. Is it a prepaid meter? No, the water management device is not a prepaid meter and homeowners are not required to buy units of water up front. They will receive a municipal water bill at the end of the month as normal. In line with current national government policy, the first 200 litres of water supplied each day is free to the metered account. In addition, if you are also the recipient of the indigent grant, the next 150 litres of water supplied will mostly be covered by the grant with only a small amount that you still need to pay. Once the daily water allocation has been utilised, the device shuts off the water supply until the next morning at 4 a.m. If you use your water carefully, this should not happen often, and the water you don't use out of the allocation is added to the next day's allocation. If it does happen that it shuts off your water, it may be that you used your allocation for the day you developed a leak, or the device has been tampered with or is malfunctioning. Close all the taps and wait until the next morning to see if you have water again. Remember, keep a supply of water for daily emergencies in a bucket, for example. Use this water supply until the next day. Remember to close all your taps after your water runs out 
or the following day's water allocation, which is activated at 4 a.m., will be wasted before you use it. Do not immediately call Council's call centre or their operations office. Wait to see whether the water returns the next morning. Do some assessment of your water usage to see if there are any areas where you could have used water more efficiently. Do you perhaps have leaks in your house? What if the water supply does not return the next day? This can be reported to Water Demand Management Operations Office at 021-761-0989 during office hours. That is between 8 in the morning and 4 in the afternoon on weekdays. Or the City of Cape Town's 24-hour call centre on 0860 10 30 54. Or by sending an SMS to 31373 with name, street address or earth number and a brief description of the problem, maximum 160 characters. A technician will be sent within a day. Can my water allowance be increased? Yes. Should your family need more water than the predetermined setting, such as for a large family, you can visit your nearest council front office for the device to be set higher by completing an application form. The Finance Department of Water and Sanitation will then assess your request. Remember that by providing your household with extra water, the council is rendering a service that must be paid for. Your payment record and other information, such as household income, must be provided to determine your ability to pay for the additional water supplied. Ways to save water You can save water by closing the tap while brushing teeth, which can save up to 20 litres, or while shaving, which can save up to 45 litres each time. Run a shallow bath. Children sharing a bath saves water. Wait until you have a full load of dirty laundry before using your washing machine. When washing the car with a hose pipe, ensure it has an automatic shut-off nozzle on the end or use a small bucket. Use the grey water from the bath to flush the toilet or use it on the garden. Do not rinse the washing by leaving the tap open and letting the water continuously flow over the clothing. Do not allow children to play with water from the hose pipe or sprinkler. Make sure the toilet is not leaking. Pour some plant dye into the cistern and see if it leaks into the bowl. Water your garden in the evening or early morning before 10 a.m. or after 4 p.m. before it gets too hot. What about arrears? The council is willing to write off your water and sanitation arrears if you have a water management device fitted keep to your allocation and continue to pay the agreed amount towards your arrears. Remember, water is scarce and we need to use it without wasting it. This information is brought to you by the City of Cape Town's Water and Sanitation Directorate.